See her try to push me on the frame? Heck yeah. It's all about me. Trying to push me right out the frame. I'm having to use regular sugar this morning. I'm so sad. I forgot to get some. Oh, no. delicious in it these actually cups. does I, it, this is like the second day now that we've the second ground with the goats now that we've had actual name brand coffee versus dollar store coffee which is okay I mean I ain't knocking that the dollar store coffee is like strong but there is such a, a huge difference yeah, between your great value brand coffee and and a cup of folders Seriously. Great. Huh? What? Great value is Walmart. Not Dollar Store. Well, what's the name of that coffee then? Uh, did you throw it away? I didn't throw it out. Oh. I probably did. I don't even know that it has a name. But it probably does. But anyway. You know what I'm I, saying. I'm picking you up which yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. Jeez. Shush it. All right. Jeez. Can we begin? Let's get this going. Okay, so what are you reading? We're at three what? Galatians three, three. through nine. Galatians three three. Three one, one through, through nine. nine. Okay. Take it away, Sammy. <laughs> oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Let me ask you only this. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun by the Spirit, are you now being per perfected by the flesh? Did you suffer so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and the works miracles among you do so by works of the law or by hearing with faith, just as Abraham believed God? as it was counted to him as righteousness. Know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would t justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, And you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. So, in short, what do you get out of that? Uh, we are to it takes by faith. faith, not works. To know that there but is God. faith is dead without works. It's very confusing. It sounds, I mean, it can be very confusing. It actually is not confusing, but to someone that uh, doesn't, is brand new to the Bible, if you it's were confusing. to explain that to them, that you can't get to heaven through by works work. alone, but by faith. But by faith. It's about faith, not about what you do. Okay, Even so it is, so that's where pe I feel like people get caught up a lot. But then you hit them with faith is dead without works. Without works, faith is no good. Listen to this. I said, did you know God's promises to Abraham? When Abraham believed <laughs> God's promises to him, God counted his faith as righteousness. Paul uses this precedent to show that God's promises to Abraham are for all who hear with faith, not just the people of Israel. Good stuff. God counted his faith. Good stuff. God counted his faith. Just have amazing. Just have faith in Christ and faith that everything is gonna be okay. And at the same time, try your best follow example of Christ. Yep. And as long as I feel like as long as you're putting your best absolute best effort forth that's what he's looking for you're gonna fall I think that's what it means by you can't make it through just by works alone because you know he knows that you're not going to be able to and why are you doing said works that's another reason he knows but is it an ulterior motive that you're helping right. somebody or, right. or is, is it, it just because you have the love of Christ in your right. heart 
So there's a lot of confusing parts about the Bible. There, it, it can is. very be very confusing. It is. I've been. I'm still no, absolutely not even close to any kind of master about it. No. But I have learned a lot in this past seven year journey that we've been on. And uh, and a lot of it I've taught myself. Just by sitting down and reading, reading the and Bible. getting the revelation in my own way. But there's also been a lot that I've learned from others. That have either been walking this walk for a long, long time. Uh, or even someone who don't even realize they're teaching you something. It could be someone that's not even a faithful follower, right? Mm -hmm. A lot more than I ever did. You know, I always knew who Christ was, of course, and considered myself a friend to Christ. But I was far from living the life of Christ. And I, but I still think he definitely saved me. Oh, yeah. In over and many, over. many, many, many instances, even when I was living for the devil. You know? Over and over. Which is wild. But I think he knew. He knew. All of those 15, 20 years that I was running with the devil, basically. He knew that 2016 was coming. And he knew what was going to happen in 2016. And he knew I was going to hit a pit that I had no other way to go. That's what happened. Yep. And Christ just happened to be the one to pull me out of it. I loved him enough to follow. From that point on, there's definitely no one that can convince me otherwise oh. than what Christ teaches because i seen him physically, physically do it in our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, he did it to me and I took the action for the first six, seven months and shocked the hell out of Sammy, and then she followed me. Here well, we are. Six, seven months, it was three months, but here we are, six years later, seven years later. So twenty sixteen, so it's seven. Still sober, still not perfect. No, never will be. But I can say that Our I'm not a drug addict accepted. or an right. alcoholic, for a hundred percent surety. One hundo. You know, we get. I get a lot of people questioning that because I'm just a naturally hyper person I'm not annoyingly like not head. everyday hyper or wake up just you know but sometimes I do yeah and when I, I am <laughs> that energy level which happens every once in a while knowing is past people can't help but think that oh dude there's, there's no He's way this speaks over okay so let's move on um your video Oh yeah, man, Why dude, yesterday this. was horrible. So, look, I have not had a legitimate, like, okay, let me put it this way. Over the past few years, I have learned very well how to control my emotions, mm -hmm. how to not let things get to me, how to, uh, you know, balance, uh, I don't even know how to say it. How to just control. not let things under my skin. Yes, yeah, self-control. Exactly what Jesus promises to give you if you fully give yourself to him. And he has. And it's been a gradual change, but up just to this past year. couple or two or three years, I've really learned how to control emotions and things like that. Yesterday was probably the most frustrated and annoyed and just... All of the above. So you glad could imagine. I wasn't here. So glad. All day long. He would have given me anxiety. So, okay, so we got done with our grounds with goats. Morning story good. We did our grounds with the goats. We did all that. And then after oh. she went to work, oh. and I went in there and put my SD card in to edit the grounds with the goat yesterday, get it all edited, try to save it to YouTube. And then it'd get like halfway through, and then it would stop. It would stop. I was trying to switch it from my editor to my SIM card because that's what I got to do. I send it from there to my SIM card, from my SIM card to YouTube. So I'm trying to get it from my editor to the SIM card, and it kept going about halfway, janking up, acting weird. I messed with that thing for probably three hours. And then my sister showed up, and then God knew what he just God knew what he needed. And then so I. 
fix this problem, see if that works, no. Fix this problem, see if that works, no. We'll come to find out the SIM card, the USB uh, memory card I'd been using was full. And for whatever reason, you would think that your computer would be able to read that and would like maybe put you a note on there or something and said, hey, your memory card is almost full. No. I fought it for four hours before I figured that out. And that was just a guess, to be honest. So, Sammy came home for lunch, gave me a little cash, and then my sister dropped, drove me up to Walmart and I bought another USB drive. Came back, stuck it in, boom. Video went straight to YouTube. Cool, finally got it up, even though it's two o'clock. Then, I go to start editing for my video for today, and just problem after problem after problem. And I, so there was a few chunk, cause like I've got enough for a couple videos right now. So the first video that I was planning on editing and having up today was just cleaning out the carport and getting things ready to start on the table. And that was gonna be the video today. In the middle of the video, I get, so far editing and about the middle of the video I pull over clips to get I needed to get more clips off of my mini sim card that come out of my camera and I go to start downloading them well in the process of them downloading those clips I have another SD card so I have three SD cards from three different cameras so I have to go ahead and put I just put in my sim card and I take off what I need in that time for the video and then I'll switch it to the next card so whenever I started downloading off the second card for the center of the video, I clicked to download, started downloading. Well, in just not thinking, getting ahead of myself, I go to click out this SD card to switch to my third SD card. Well, whenever I clicked out of that SD card, it was in the middle of the process of writing my clips from my card to my editor. And, I, and I, it even asked me, it said, are you sure the iMovie is using this card? I was like, oh, oh crap, no, cancel, canceled it. Go back to my editor. Well, the clips that I was downloading were just black. There was nothing on there. I thought, crap, man, I'm going to have to go through and pick them out again. So I deleted them off there, and I go to my SD card, and I started picking them out to redo it again. And it will not switch the footage, no. It just switches a black screen. For only those clips that I had on there that were downloading while I pulled that SD card. But I didn't even pull the SD card. I hit I hit the button saying I wanted to pull the SD card out. I don't know. Even it was like that all the way up to 8 o'clock last night. Like I was finally He just sat at the laptop for so long he woke up this morning with his neck killing him because he's like this. Like 12 hours. I mean I didn't I didn't lose it. But I got very close a couple times. But it was bad, dude, so I guess what I'm going to do today, so we I decided we're going to do Crowns of the Goats today. I'm going to try to get some stuff filmed today to add. That's another thing. I missed a whole day of filming content yesterday, messing with that all day long. So I'm going to try to get a little more recorded today and see. I'm just going to go ahead and just crunch everything I've got. Like I said, remember I said I've got the carport cleaning video, then I got me starting on the table, and then I'd have one of me finishing the table. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crunch all of that together and just make one video out of all of it. Which you should. So. I mean, that's all of the, the well, I mean, I was just thinking in my head, like, if I can get it, make more several videos, videos out of, because I've got plenty of content, I'm going to have to waste a lot in order to crunch it all together. I'm not going to be able to fit everything that I've got into it, and that's what I was kind of hoping to avoid by making several different videos out of it, but it's okay. We'll figure something out. We'll get it. I'll get it figured out, and hopefully, hopefully to goodness, I will have that video out for y'all tomorrow, and if for some reason I don't get it completely done, then we'll just do another Grounds with the Goats, and I will put it out Saturday. If you can get it to go. Because that's another thing I've been thinking, too, is I'd like to be able to start putting, you know, a full-blown video out at least one on the weekends too as well as Thursday so then we'd have a full version mm -hmm. video twice a week instead of just once okay. but those are just the plans all right guys we love you thank you for listening this morning <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome and you amazing off his chest. and uh, yeah I hope you all enjoy this grounds with the goats with me 
complaining. That's okay. That's and, uh, the whole reason why we did it. For those that were anticipating a video today, it most likely will not be up. Yeah, I'm going to try. If I can get it edited and get it up tonight, then I will go ahead and do that on but top of the Just in preparation, go, if you don't see a video, yeah, this is I just wanted to why. let you all know. Yep. This, yeah, that's why. So, alright. Love you guys. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. Love you guys. Till next time. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise.